Hola mi gente, it's Marilus here and welcome to another Vlogmas. Today is kind of like a lazy day, so I do want to show you how to make the best dessert ever for this Christmas. So there's a few desserts that um, we Puerto Ricans do like around Christmas time. One is tembleque, another one is flan, and arroz con dulce, which is like it's rice with raisins. But my favorite yes. is the flan. So I do want to show you how to make flan because I feel like it's the easiest way and it is definitely the best dessert ever for this Christmas time. Okay guys, so you're going to need five large eggs, the whole egg, five of these. You're also going to need a can of evaporated milk and this one is 12 ounces. I like to use the carnation because I like the taste of this one. You're also going to need a can of condensed milk. This one is actually 14 ounces. And I also like to have the Eagle brand because I also like the taste of this one. I think brands matter in terms of these two ingredients. And I also like to use vanilla extract. You're going to use at least one cap, but if you don't have like a cap of like this one, um, you can use at least one to two teaspoons. And you're going to need one cup of sugar. This one is the Publix brand, but it, it can be any type of sugar as long as you use one cup. It's going to be for the caramel. You need at least two containers, one smaller than the other so i bought these two glass containers and the whole reason i bought them years ago was to do a flan <laughs> so you're going to do this flan in a baño de maria which means you put the mix on a smaller container like this one and i like because it's square i like the shape of it and then you're going to put the water on this bigger one and then you're going to put them inside the larger container so the first thing we're going to do is the caramel and you're going to need one of these and set your stove to a medium setting you can adjust it to low eventually in order to you know not burn the caramel but medium is fine to start so i'm going to pour a whole cup of sugar and i'm going to place that here and i'm going to start warming that up you eventually will see how the caramel is going to be done i also like to use a spatula like a really nice spatula not like a really flimsy one because this is going to be really hot and you don't want this to melt as well So I started in a high setting and as soon as I saw these like a sugar cubes and everything going brown, I really went into a medium setting. Eventually, I'll go into a lower setting. Now warning, please don't touch the spatula or the caramel because this is really hot. You can burn yourself. Okay, so at this point, I turn it off and I take it out of the heat. Once you start smelling that caramel scent, it's already done. So I take it off the heat and I just move it around until all the pieces are completely melted. Now once this is done, I I put the spatula in water right away because I don't want it to crystallize and I also like to pour the caramel onto the dish and I like to let it set so I'll leave it like this just move it around a little bit and just let it set like so okay so the caramel is set on the container we're going to put this aside and we're also going to set our oven to 350 degrees and while the oven is heating we're going to pour our ingredients in the blender and going to do the flan mix so I have my five eggs right here in this plate and we're going to pour this first I like to pour this first because I don't want to spill Now we're going to set up a can of condensed milk. I always like to lick this sugar and I'm going to pour all of the, like the entire can onto the mix. So the next thing that we're going to do is uh, pour a full can of evaporated milk. And I do have a can opener, but your girl likes to go psycho on it. So I just shake it, get a knife, one punch, Second puncture and just pour it like that. <laughs> Psycho, right? That was very Puerto Rican of me. And the last thing that you want to pour or that I pour is the vanilla extract. So I like to use either one or two cups. It all depends how intense you want the vanilla flavor in it. And I'm going to put the cap on and I'm going to blend this thing. Then once this is mixed, you want to put this in the container. I don't know if you can hear John's motorcycle in the background, but he bought a new motorcycle a while ago and he's been riding it nonstop. 
So now you are going to use the larger container and you're going to set it. You're going to put the smaller container in it. You know, it's going to look like this. And then you're going to pour water on the bigger container. I like to use this uh, measuring cup that I got from Target because it has a really nice pouring edge. I'm going to pour water into the big container until it probably covers your smaller container, the one that has the mix. And then after that's done, you're going to place this in the oven. Except when it comes in fours as well. It is time! It looks so good! Flan is going down and John is taking a nap. So I'm trying to be really silent. I've watched like five YouTube videos and John is still taking a nap. So I'm just waiting until the flan cools down in order to have a bite. Okay, so now it's time to transfer the flan into a plate. So what I like to do is I like to puncture all the edges and have like a plate and then flip it out. Okay, so it's moment of truth. I'm going to try to flip this. You have no idea how nervous this gets me because I am so clumsy, you guys. So clumsy. I'm the one who's always doing a mess. But <laughs> pray for me. Pray. Okay. We're going to do this. Okay. One, two. Oh gosh. Okay. Hopefully, this is big enough. Can you hear John snoring? <laughs> okay, wait, let's focus. One, two, three. I did it! Oh my god, it came out so pretty. It broke a little bit on the edges, not too bad though, but it came out so perfect. The can almost spilled a little bit, but... Oh my god, we have fun! Move it, move it, uh, yellow, yeah, it's, it's perfect, it's gorgeous. I guess that's it, I think I'm gonna call it a night actually because my life is boring you guys. But anyways, I hope your flan comes amazing and you have a really new and amazing Puerto Rican dessert for Christmas if you like to. <laughs> or flan can actually just surf anytime, you know. I mean, if your boyfriend left you, you can eat flan instead of ice cream. If you found a new boyfriend, you can have flan to celebrate. You can have flan anytime. But anyways, guys, I digress. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I think I'm going and have some me time with John, you know, like couple time if John wakes up because can you hear him snoring? I don't know if you can hear him. But anyways, guys, thank you so, 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 so much for watching and participating in my Vlogmas. So I will see you in my next Vlogmas. Bye!